Hey folks, welcome to Hip Hughes History. Today, this one is for my teacher peeps. Guys, we're gonna go over the top five free Web 2.0 apps that you should probably be using in your classroom if you're not doing it already. So what are we waiting for? Let's get a demo right now. Let's start with an easy one, guys, because humans are dumb, they forget things, and kids forget things even more than humans. So go to remind.com, and what you can do with this website is you're going to get an account. You can do it on your phone as well, and it's gonna give you a code and a number. Have your kids text that code to the number, and it hooks them up with this app where you're gonna be able to message them and their parents, and they're not gonna be able to message you back. How cool is that? Don't forget your homework. We have to go on a trip on Monday. Get that form in. Remind.com. Check it out. It's free. Number two, guys, go to drive.google.com and make sure that you're using your drive appropriately. Word is dead. You shouldn't be typing anything other than in the cloud for school. I can find every single test, every single worksheet. I don't use worksheets. Every single everything that I've ever done just by typing into my Google Drive. And then not only am I gonna have access to it, I'm gonna be able to share that out with the world by getting a, um, a web address for it so I can link it to other places. I can also use the collaboration button to bring other people into the discussions. And of course, students can do this as well. I can create forums, I can create presentations, and it's all in the cloud. I don't need um, you know any type of software. I'm not gonna lose it. It's not gonna be syntax error. It's gonna be there and it's gonna be available for you. So whether you're using it to produce stuff for kids or kids are using it to produce stuff for class, go and check out drive.google.com and start using it for school. Otherwise, you're just a ding dong. Number three, guys, get a social network for your classroom. I don't care if you're using Schoology or if you're using Edmodo, they're both really great, but these are classroom platforms that are gonna kill websites. No more website construction, putting all your assignments up there. It works just like a Facebook would work where you're gonna post things on walls, there's gonna be assignments online, everything can become digital, or you can use it only kind of halfway. It's really up to you, but either way, get onto these sites, join their classroom communities so you can be speaking with other educators who are thinking like this across the world. Schoology or Edmodo, choose wisely, Daniel Sun. So guys, you know I'm a flipper, I'm a content creator. I create videos to have teachers assign kids to help with the knowledge piece so they can be doing really cool things in class, really cool experiences. But one of the problems in flipping is sometimes you really don't know what's the engagement on the video, is the kid really watching it? So go to educanon.com. You're gonna use your free account to be able to embed questions, whether it's free response or multiple choice, right into the videos that you choose to assign and it's gonna track all of that wonderful data. I love uh, me some data. So go to educanon.com, start using it with video assignments so you know what your kids are getting out of the videos so they can start kind of putting that to use in the classroom, creating really cool new expressions of meaning. Educanon.com. Roll them. So we're gonna use wevideo.com as our last recommendation. I'm a huge believer in student production of film inside the classroom, across grade levels, across curriculum areas. I don't care what you're teaching, they can make a movie, you can figure it out. And we have lots of other videos that are gonna help you kind of learn how to do that. But one of the problems has always been kind of software and access. And really now with a phone and internet connection, your class can be making movies on wevideo.com. Kids are gonna be able to upload clips, you can cut clips, you can layer music, you could put transitions in there special effects and then you can watch your movie and you can learn what all the kids learned. How about that? So check it out, wevideo.com. So what are you waiting for operators standing by? I'm joking, thanks for watching guys. Um, those are kind of the top five ones off the top of my head, but you can check it out on www.hiphues.com. We have a free tech toolbox. You can start filling your own tool belt and figuring out what's gonna work for best for your classroom because it's your teacher voice that counts the most. So there you go guys, where attention goes, energy flows. Make sure you're subscribed to Hiphues History. You can do that by clicking the red button right there and we'll see you guys next time that you press. Like, like, like.